One of the things I'm most proud of is more the modernization efforts, which is something that doesn't get as much press in terms of innovating the, the inside guts of government. But we have um, all of our financial systems, our revenue systems, our public health systems, um, uh, and we're in the middle of a driver's license system renovation. So, of course, when you do that, um, you bring so much more to the table. You bring mobile components, you bring um, a lot of real-time computing that some of these older, um, you know, batch-oriented systems just don't do. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's an odd angle on innovation and it's something that people don't really ask a lot about, right? I mean, you know, um, modernizing systems that are 25 or 30 years old is, is good old-fashioned hard work, but um, I feel like it's something that's set us apart in terms of what we're doing in Mississippi. I was visiting with someone yesterday and I think the best thing about working in state government is the incredible uh, numbers and diversities, diversity of projects that you, you work on. So in any given day you could be talking about a health information exchange, how to fund GIS, um, uh, just a myriad of, of systems that, that uh, you know, from a, in my opinion, from a private sector perspective, people would spend their whole career kind of in a vertical. So I love that part of it. I love that part of it. Um, I, I would say that uh, one of the challenges is probably the near continual cat herding. Uh, and I mean that in a good way. But uh, you really get bulked up in exercising the muscles of consensus building, communicating, and sort of keeping that huddle, that team of people together. There's, all, there's just a natural propensity for folks to sort of drift off. And I don't know that drifting is bad, um, but when you're trying to keep that whole bunch moving in a direction, um, I would say it's a challenge. I think um, some of the, the mobile first stuff that we've been doing, the mobility stuff, is really fun. You know, typically because it, it, um, it, it, it's really kind of a, a, a venue that you're going to touch the citizen. You're not going to do mobile apps just for state employees. or So it's all um, citizen oriented. Now, you know, traditionally systems were very much internalized. You know, it's the internal system to issue a driver's license. It's the internal system for um, nutrition benefits for kids. The, the mobile component uh, beyond the web component, I think is it's you know pushing stuff out in the field for um, citizens to use, and I and I, I think that's a, a great trend and one that's going to continue. I would say it's climbed up the food chain. You know, it is prominent um, with uh, uh, elected officials, and to be candid, I think the the political class came to some of those things quicker than the, the public administration side of the house, right? Because lots of those techniques, social media techniques, were used in the campaigning phase before the governing phase. And so that's really nice because you sort of ingest a lot of folks when an elected official comes into office. You know, you get a lot of folks that have a, a lot of experience and have a lot of high expectations, um, and that's good. We are hopefully at the um, going to be kicking off some cloud email stuff, making a decision on that, and then we're really going to start paying attention to disaster recovery um, next. And really, I think how cloud can impact that. Um, the states are on a continuum of, you know, how to ingest cloud, how you know what, where, when, and so you know the the messaging space has become you know, dramatically commoditized. And, and we're gonna look at some other areas to move forward in as that market continues to um, churn pretty aggressively. You know, I don't think anybody knows where it's gonna completely settle um, in the future. So we're gonna be paying a whole lot of attention to that.